Hello, good evening, the good people of Ghana. Once again, it is time with your, your friend, your brother, Dr. Ibrahim Segu, on Dundee One TV. We have, as far as the health series is concerned, we have looked at hypertension, diet, dietary management and prevention of hypertension. We talked about the 14 items. The 14 items include how we should handle meat as far as hypertension is concerned and carbohydrates or starchy foods, then vegetables, fish, milk, taking soups, general oily food, whether liquid or solid, then eggs, then the concept of salt and hypertension, the regular soups in hypertension, regular soups that help in, uh, when we consume, we can help control hypertension or prevent hypertension and then regular exercise. Now, what we are going to discuss today, what we are going to discuss today is when you have hypertension, how to control your cholesterol level so that your, your BP does not rise. When we say cholesterol, what do we mean? Cholesterol is a type of fat in the blood. When the level in the blood goes up, it makes blood thick and forms clots. The clot deposits in the blood vessels and interfere with the normal flow of blood. Most of the time, when you have high cholesterol, it may contribute to the formation of what you call myocardial infarction. Or better still, it can uh, cause high blood pressure with time. Therefore, if you go to the lab and your doctor does investigations, and one of the investigations includes that your lipid profile or your cholesterol level is high, the total cholesterol is high, the LDL cholesterol is high, the VDL cholesterol is high. Your triglycerides are high. And by extension, your cardiac ratio is high. Then there's a need to control your diet. Now, we have foods allowed in normal quantities when we have high cholesterol. We have foods in restricted or um, quantities that must be reduced when you have high cholesterol. Now, I want us to take a critical look at food allowed in normal quantities when you have high cholesterol. As we said for the hypertension, when you have high cholesterol, whether you have hypertension or not, that is, whether you have high blood pressure or not, but your cholesterol levels are high, you must eat a lot of fish. Now, when we say a lot of fish, you can eat all kinds of, fresh, uh, of fish, whether it is fresh, smoked, or dried. Now, for the fish, we can eat one medium size or three much box size. That is, when you take match box, match, match boxes, three, one match box, another match box, another match box. When we have three match boxes, fish of that size you can eat regularly and that can help reduce your cholesterol level when you have high cholesterol your dietitian or your doctor will also tell you that you have to cut down on your chicken intake now for the chicken you'll be told to eat one joint of chicken and that even with that, the cholesterol coat, you have to remove it. So you reduce the level of cholesterol that you take. Just like we said for hypertension, when you have high cholesterol, your doctor or your dietitian will tell you that you have to take 
less meat or if you must take meat it has to be the lean type the lean type you can take all kinds of lean meat from various meat sources hygienic sources it can be beef it can be bush meat but as we say for hypertension it has to be too much boxes or less as we say for hypertension for high cholesterol when you are taking X, it has to be a maximum of two a week. Now, if you want to take more, when you boil the egg, the eggs, you remove the cholesterol and give the you remove the yolk and give the yolk to the children and take the white. That's the albumin. Also, when you have high cholesterol, your doctor or di your dietitian will tell you that. You have to cut down on your milk intake. The milk can either be fresh or thinned, but you have to lower it. You have to, if you have any of these milks, you have to take lower quantities: skimmed milk, non-dairy creamer, evaporated cell milk, low-fat milk, low-fat cottage cheese, and low-fat yogurt. You have to take lower quantities of this. Now, as we said for hypertension, if you have high cholesterol, you do cholesterol tests and the levels of the total cholesterol and the LDL cholesterol levels are high, your dietitian or your medical doctor will tell you that eat more vegetables. Now, there's no restriction for the vegetables. You can eat all vegetables, okra or okra, garden eggs, cabbage, tomatoes, lettuce, pepper, cucumber, onions, green beans, and all green leafy vegetables. You can take contumere, spinach, alefu, boko boko, ayoyo, as desired. We can take at least two servings a day. When you have high cholesterol, you must eat good amount of fruit. Now, no, no fruit is restricted. You can eat all fruit. For example, watermelon, grapes, lemon, oranges, pineapple, papa, etc. You can take two to three times every day. I must point out that even though we have another video on peptic ulcer and diet, I must point this out that if you have peptic ulcer, that is when you take food, you have pain at this area, epigastric region, or you have discomfort there. It means that even though you have the permission to take a lot of food, any acidic diet or acidic food like pineapple, oranges, you have to cut down on those ones. But other non-acidic foods, you can take them if you have high cholesterol. As we said for hypertension, if you have high cholesterol, you can take a lot of carbohydrates. You can take starchy foods or carbohydrates. Now we have yam, rice, cocoa yam, potatoes, plantain, all corn or maize products, and any food made with flour, like bread, plain biscuits, beans, reduce the intake of all starchy foods if you are overweight. That is when they check your weight and it's relatively high. When they do the BMI test and then uh, they check your weight and they take your height and the BMI is relatively very high. From 27, 20, 25, 27, kilometer per meter squared onwards, you have to cut it down on, uh, you have to cut it down on uh, eating so much starchy food at a time. What that means is you have to eat in moderation. Now, as we said for hypertension, if you have high cholesterol, you have to cut down on your oily diet intake. If you must cook, use 
oils high in PUFA, that is, oils high in polyunsaturated fatty acids, such as sunflower oil. Just like we advise for people with hypertension, we entreat you that if you have high cholesterol, cut down on your coffee intake and all that. Coffee intake, you can take tea with lemon or with skim milk. Taking one uh, dessert spoon of evaporated milk or one teaspoon of powdered milk or two dessert spoons of non-dairy creamer with or without fresh lemon or lime drink. This combination is good, but you cut down on the coffee. You can eat more of egg white, as we have said earlier. Abushi, neri, dawadawa. If you have high cholesterol, your dietitian or your medical doctor will tell you that certain foods must be avoided or must be heavily curtailed. Still on the fat and oils, all better, lard, hard margarines, creams, mayonnaise, palm kernel oil, coconut oil, shea butter, whole milk, cheese, and cheese bread. Must be eaten in serious moderation. It is better we avoid them if your cholesterol levels are high. When your doctor has put you on high cholesterol medications, we usually call the statins, Crestor, Lepetor, and all that. You will also find that when your cholesterol levels are high, your dietitian or medical doctor would give advice on animal and its parts. Shrimps, lobsters, crabs, lamb, sausages, salami, fish, roes, brains, heart of animals, liver of animals, kidney of animals, intestines, egg yolk, etc. Now, these things must be avoided or eaten in restricted quantities. Shrimps, lobster, crabs have some amount of calcium, so you might be encouraged to eat, but not so much. If you have high cholesterol, as we say for high hypertension, you have to cut down your cake intake, donut intake, ice cream, tinned vegetables, vegetable salad, and chocolate intake. Chocolate, I must say, because of the cocoa is good. But sometimes because of the kind of oils used in making the, the chocolate, if it's high in uh, monounsaturated fat, we might have a problem. Other than that, chocolate is good for you. Now, if you have high cholesterol, from morning to evening, how should you eat? Now, in the mornings, this is what we can take for breakfast. We can take brown, brown bread with porridge or tea or rice water or oat or tom brown. That is for your breakfast. Now, between your breakfast and your lunch, you take what you call mid-morning snack. You can take one fresh of any kind, one small banana or orange or apple, or one slice of papo or pineapple or watermelon. When you say one slice, like there, one slice type or the two slice type of the watermelon. Now, we are back to the afternoon diet, the, or the afternoon meal. Now, you can take soup or stew with little amount of kufa oil. And it can be in uh, with these dishes. We have rice, kenke, bankutu, zafi, yam, apem, apantu, gari, kuku yam. Now, between the afternoon and the evening that we have there, you can take the mid-afternoon snack. And this is the same as the mid-morning snack we talked about. They talk about the banana, orange, apple, slices of popo, pineapple, popo. Now we talk of the evening meal or the supper. It is the same as a lunch. Just that the evening meal should be slightly less than in volume, less in volume than the, the afternoon meal or the lunch. We can take 
a little bit bedtime snack, any of the food to help with digestion the next morning, uh, help with uh, passing stools the next morning. All said and done, just like we said for hypertension, when you have high cholesterol, you have to exercise. You can exercise at least 30 to 45 minutes, at least four times every week. Let's say Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, Sundays, early in the morning. You can walk, if your compound is very big, you can walk about the compound in a very calculated manner for about 30 to 45 minutes. Now if your compound is not big, and you have straighter roads closer to your house, just like we have in Dansoman, you can walk or do gentle trotting from Dansoman roundabout to Sahara and back. And this will be healthy for you. We meet on YouTube to discuss or to answer any questions or to take any contributions from any medical doctor or health professional or any patient or client of ours. Have a good evening. Enjoy your evening. Bye.